Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about passing arguments to functions using pointers. So we can pass the arguments to functions, okay, by using pointers. So pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of another variable, okay. So pointer is used to store the address. By using address, we can know the value, okay. So that's why by using pointers, we can pass arguments by using call by value and call by reference. Okay. We can pass by value or we can pass by address. Okay. Okay. So in C programming, there are two methods to pass parameters from calling function to called function. The one is call by value. Another one is call by reference. So in the last class, I have explained about passing parameters. Okay. This is also used as the example. Okay. Call by value, call by reference. How we pass values, how we pass address that is reference. Okay. So let's see. First one is call by value. So while calling a function, we pass values of variables to it. Such functions are known as call by values. Okay. Suppose I am calling some function. So here I am passing parameters. Those are 10 comma 20 or A comma B. So in this situation, we are passing values of variables to it. Okay. So this type of functions are known as this type of passing is known as call by value. Okay. So in this method, the value of each variable in calling function is copied into corresponding dummy values of called function. Okay. With this method, the changes made to the dummy variables in the called function have no effect on the values of actual variables in the calling function. So if any changes at called function, those changes are not affected to the actual parameters. Okay. Actual parameters are in the calling function and formal parameters are at the called function. So if we change any at called function, those changes are not affected in actual parameters. That is calling function. Okay. So let's see the example. So here hash include stdio.h is the header file. Okay. Next, I am declaring one function. Okay. So, what is the syntax to declare functions? Written type, function name, parameters. Okay. So, here the written type is void. Function name is swap x. Int x, int y are the parameters. Okay. Function declaration should be terminated with semicolon. Okay. So, this is the declaration. Okay. Next one is main function program execution starts from main function int a is equals to 10 so a value is 10 b value is 20 okay a value is 10 b value is 20 next swap x a comma b what is this this is the function calling so we are calling swap x and passing parameters those are a comma b so here we are passing values, values of variables. So here A contain 10, B contain 20. So we are indirectly passing values to function. Okay. Whenever the function occurs, the control is transferred from this place to function calling. Okay. This is calling function and this is called function okay these are the actual parameters these are the formal parameters so actual parameter values are copied to formal parameters those are a is equals to 10 so 10 value is copied to x now x value is 10 b is equals to 20 20 value is copied to y that is y value is 20 so if we made any changes in x and y, suppose we increment x, we decrement y, okay, those effects are not changed in this actual parameters, okay. So if we change any values of these variables, should not affect with these variables, 
okay so here x value is 10 y value is 20 next int t i am taking one more variable that is t so equals to what is equals to operator equals to means assigning value okay assignment operator so x value is assigned to t so now t value is 10 next y value is assigned to x so now x value is 20 next y is equals to t t value is 10 so y is assigned to 10 okay printf i am printing the values before swapping the values of x is so i am printing x and y so x value is 20 y value is 10 so x value is 20 y value is 10 a value is 10 b value is 20 okay we swapped the values okay x 20 y 10 so in this way we can call a function by using values okay this is known as call by value okay so we are passing parameters passing parameters as variables and values next one is call by reference okay so in the last case we have passed parameters by using values or variables so in this case we pass the parameters by using address okay so while calling a function instead of passing the values of variables we pass the address of variables address means memory location memory location of variables to the function is known as call by reference okay so in this method the address of actual parameters actual variables in the calling function are copied to dummy variables of called function so same as it is call by value so in the place of call by value in the place of values we use address okay so here the address of calling function is stored at called function okay so with this method using the address we we would have an access to the actual parameters actual variables and hence we would be able to manipulate them okay so we can manipulate because here we are using address okay so in the last case so if we change if we made any changes on dummy variables those changes no effect on actual variables in call by value but in call by reference so using addresses we would have an access to the actual variables also so we would be able to manipulate them we can change the actual parameters also actual variables also okay so let's see the example so here hash include stdio.h standard input output dot header file next i am declaring one function void is the written type swap x is the function name int star int star so here star represents pointer so what is a pointer pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of another variable first suppose i am taking p as pointer okay now a is a variable and a contain 10 okay and address of a is one zero double one okay what is a pointer so here variable is a storage space which is used to store the value that is the variable definition here pointer is a variable which is used to store the address of another variable so address of this variable so that is g one zero double one this is pointer pointer is used to store address only okay so we are declaring two addresses okay a is equals to 10 b is equals to 20 so 10 is stored at a and 20 is stored at b so address of this location is 1011 and the address of this location is 1022 suppose okay for suppose next i am calling swap x ampersand a ampersand b so here ampersand a ampersand b are used 
ampersand symbol is used to represent the address so here we are calling swapx function and passing parameters those are address of a and address of b so here a value is address of a value is 1011 okay 1011 address of b that is 1022 now x contain 1011 y contain 1022 okay next i am declaring one variable that is t so in t i am storing x address okay so x address is 1011 so in 1011 it contains 10 so here it stores 10 okay next y x so y value is 1022 in in 1022 it contains 20 so 20 is transferred to this location okay that means 20 is stored here okay now x contain 20 next t is 10 we are storing 10 here okay so in the last situation in the last case call by value case we only manipulate the values okay we only changes the formal parameters only we are not able to change the actual parameters but in this case we can change the actual parameters also because here we are using address okay so when we made changes in x automatically changes are made at this location that is 20 is stored here and 10 stored here okay now x value is 20 y value is 10 a value is 20 b value is 10 okay so here if we make any changes in x those changes are applicable to formal parameters sorry actual parameters also okay so here x value is changed a value is changed y value is changed b value is changed but in this case call by value case the changes are made at only formal parameters but not in actual parameters in case of call by value but in case of call by reference those actual parameters and formal parameters both are changed okay we can manipulate actual parameters okay i hope it is clear if you have any doubt regarding to this video please comment me in the comment section for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you